One of the main skills that's going to help you keep peace in the home is the place cue. And place is where they just go to their bed and they lay in their bed and they stay there. Zero being a puppy, um, he is not perfect with his impulse control yet and he sometimes has issues with stay still. Um, so we'll go over how to help him with that and help him build that skill. But one of the main things that you're going to be practicing inside is what's called place patterning. It's really simple, it's kind of boring, um, that's the whole point. It's to get him to a just calmer state of mind where he just wants to go to his bed and lay down. It also will give you a chance to get comfortable with the e-collar and help him to understand that everything he's learned here still applies at home. So what you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need the dog uh, wearing his e-collar. I like to have a couple of beds set up. You can use a couch or a blanket or a towel or just the floor and practice downs. Um, but we're going to be doing healing from bed to bed, we're going to be doing recalls from bed to bed, and just getting him up and moving and laying in a bed. I also have food as a reward. He works really, really well for his kibble. You don't need to use anything fancy, he doesn't need it. Um, I also will have a leash available, just in case he's having a hard time. Rather than trying to zap him and go higher and higher and higher, I would rather go back to using a leash for a few repetitions and kind of help him in a physical, very clear way. You can also just use the leash when you know there's people coming over or when there's just a lot of distractions and you wanna make sure that he has a lot of help to get him doing what he needs to do. So we'll start on leash for a few repetitions just to show you what that looks like. So every time that I give him a cue, I'm going to be tapping on the e-collar as well. For the first two, three weeks that he's home, I want you guys to do this also. It won't be forever, but it's just to make sure that he understands that everything he's learned here still applies at home and to make sure that you guys are enforcing everything and keeping up with practice. He's not a super sensitive dog. Um, he works a little bit high when he's distracted but you don't have to rush straight to blasting him on high levels. He understands it lower. It's just, he sometimes doesn't always um, respond in a very strong way. So I'll be at around four or five with him and I'm tapping this red button each time that I tell him to do something. So I'll tell him break with the tap, good boy. And then I'll tell him place with the tap, good, good boy. And place does mean go and lay down. So if he doesn't lay down, I'll just remind him place with the tap. But I like to give him a second to think, make sure he's really gonna do it or make sure he's really confused and needs help before I do anything else. Good boy. Like I said, he has a difficult time with stay. So I really want you guys to focus on practicing that with him when you're doing this, rather than doing a lot of rushed break, place. Break. Place. I would rather you guys focus on doing it very slowly, where he goes to one bed and he's there for a minute or two and you test him a little bit. If you go too quickly with him, he wants to run around and do zoomies and we want to keep him a little bit calmer when we're doing this. So I really want you guys practicing his stays. Um, walking around him is very hard for him. He wants to flip around and follow you. Nope. Yeah. I'll just remind him to lay down. Nope, down. Good. When he does stay successfully, I'll reward that. Like I said, he has a hard time with it. I don't want to be rewarding every couple seconds because he starts to rely on that as a cue to stay. So I don't need to use a reward with every repetition and I don't need to be giving him a treat every few seconds. But if he does something that's challenging for him, like walking around him, it's really hard for him, I'll give a reward. Or if somebody knocks on the door and he's staying, he can get a reward. Good. 
I found that the best way to reward him also um, is when you go behind him. Don't come back around to reward. Stay behind him and lean over and reward him where he should be at so that he's not anticipating flipping around and looking at you. Break, place, good. Another thing that he finds very challenging is squatting down next to him. Good boy, he wants to get up and get in your face. Good boy. I don't mind him moving a little bit on the bed, but I he'll creep really quickly um, like that. And I want his elbows to stay on the bed. So that's kind of where I draw the line. If his elbows come off the bed, he's going to keep trying to belly crawl over to you. But look, I'm still laying down. So this is okay, I don't mind this. That, nope, place. Good. I'll just give a little tap and lean him back onto place. Good boy. Good. Again, because this is hard for him, I'm gonna show him that I like what he's doing and give him a reward. Good boy. When you're rewarding, you have two options um, for what to tell him before you reward. I like to mark when I'm gonna give the dog a treat because I want them to understand exactly why the treat's coming. Rather than just grabbing a treat, hoping for the best, hoping that my timing's right, I'm gonna mark the exact moment he does what I like. And that way he knows that when the treat follows, it's ex for what happened exactly before I said the word. So good means that the treat is gonna come to him and that he should stay, good. Good is basically rewarding a stay. It's rewarding him for doing what I want him to continue doing. Good boy. And he understands that good doesn't mean he can get up and come get it. Good means that it's going to come to him. Good. Now, if I'm going to release him to get a treat, like say we're working on recalls and I want him to be really quick and excited, I'll use a different word. I'll use a word that means that I want him to get up and I want him to come to me and I want him to get the treat from me. And that word is, yes! That means he can get up and come get the treat. Good boy. Good boy. And using those two words separately for stay and then for releasing him to come get food will just make everything clearer for him and easier for him and help him understand. So I want you guys to pay attention to when you're using those words. Please. Good boy. And just like we can release him with Y-E-S to a treat, we can also release him without giving him a treat. And that's just our break. Good boy. That just means he can get up, he's done. We'll move on to the next thing or pat him on the head or he's free to go run around and be crazy. Good boy. Place. Good. Down. Good boy. And of course, he's an eight month old dog and he's a very energetic, athletic dog. So he'll need time to run around and get all his energy out, but it doesn't need to be in your house, doing zoomies on your furniture, getting the other dogs all riled up. Inside, I want him understanding that he's supposed to be calm and working and focused or napping. Outside, he can go run around and do zoomies and play with the ball, but inside he should settle down. Good boy. We can also practice healing inside when we're doing praise patterning. So again, I'm gonna give a tap on this. Heal. And I want him to walk next to me. Good boy. Heal. This can be challenging for some dogs. Heal. Good boy. Because they want to rush to the bed because they anticipate going to the bed. So it's a good challenge to show him, do you really understand heal and where I want you to be at? Zero. Heal. Good boy. He's pretty good. Heal. I'll make him sit and wait next to me before I send him to place. Good boy. Good boy. Good. We can also practice recalls from bed to bed. So when I call him, I want him to come sit in front of me. I don't want him darting over to the bed. Here it come. Good boy. Good job. Just like that. Good. Good. And I reward recalls pretty heavily. I want him really enthusiastic about coming when I call him. Yes. 
美味しい Food is also a challenging distraction for him. Nope. Good boy. Good. Generally, you won't want to release him to get food on the floor because I don't want him anticipating that it's going to be an option for him to get it. I'd rather him think that it's just off limits. It's always going to come good from me. He's a really good dog. He's super eager to please and he really likes working, but he doesn't like being patient and waiting around so much. So that's where you guys are going to have the most um, challenge with him. And that's why I want you guys to really practice this exercise and really put a focus on his stays when you're doing this. Good boy. You'll be doing a lot of duration with him where he's just laying in his bed for like 20 minutes, an hour at a time. When you're watching TV, you're cooking dinner, and the other dogs are out. You can find a place to tether him. Just use leashes and I'll just put a leash around the table or the couch. Yeah, good boy. And that way that if he gets up, he can't go and cause havoc or come find you or learn that it's really fun to escape his bed. He still might get up, sit up. Um, I find the first few minutes that we sit down and he wants, he's in place, he'll have a hard time. And I have to remind him a few times, nope, down, nope, down. You can try tapping on the e-collar from far away. I'm like a 10. If he doesn't lay back down, get up and help him out. Um, and then he'll be there and he'll be pretty good for a while. And then after like an hour or so, or half an hour, he might start to get a little antsy again and pop up and pop up, just write him down or do a few more repetitions of place, break, place, break, place, break. If he's really struggling, he can go in his kennel or you can go play ball with him in the yard. Uh, bum. But this is a skill that I really want him to practice to learn just how to settle. Good boy. Good boy. And he'll improve with time if you're consistent with actually enforcing it. But he's still young. He needs some more maturity. Good boy. Another good challenge is petting him and then moving away. Good. Good boy. When you've do, done a few reps on leash and he's been really good, you can try off leash. Obviously, that's the goal. Um, but again, he's still a baby, he's got teenage brain. And if you find that as soon as you let him off leash, he wants to go run zoomies, do a few days of just on leash before you start to trust him off leash again. Damn, good boy. Just to keep him consistent and on track. Break. Zero, please. Hey, he's pretty good. Um, but he works really well for food. He's happy to please you. But again, he's a hormonal eight month old and he'll have the moments where he wants to just go a little wild. <laughs> so just go back a step, put the leash back on, use some more food and go slow. Break, place. Good boy. Good dog. 